So I actually spent a bunch of money just so I can get these so I could make these toolkit that I'm sharing with you. This is actually going to be the demo version of it or like the beta I'm sharing right now because I want you guys to try it out and let me know what you think and what I should add maybe if you get an idea of what could make these better. So let me know. After you install the DRFX file, which is named hand drawn demo, you will find the things right here in the generators and also the transitions. So let me show you the generators first. Go to Suave, then you will find the hand drawn section, and then here you will have a bunch of letters and stuff that you can use. Now, they don't have uh, thumbnails or anything because this is a, the beta test. So, my main goal for this is to find out about the usability and if you think of anything that should be added to these. Right now, we have here you can see the color controls, the position controls, which are just like that, and also the stop motion. So if I press play right here, it has that animation right here. The, the A is moving. Let me turn this off. And then you can also change the color of these if you wish to do so. And these also work inside Fusion. You just drag and drop them like that. So if we open this in Fusion, you will see that this is a group. And if you were working on a Fusion composition, you would just go in, find this edit, generators, swallow and then hand drawn. And then just drag this right there and then you have it there same thing it's pretty straightforward now i also added a few numbers the controls are pretty much the same but i want you to try that try them out so that you can get any ideas of what could make them better and then we have a few of them that are like arrows or like elements like these like doodle elements maybe maybe also as well as you can see this circle right here moves really fast because a few frames only so if we make these five it slows down so it looks a little bit more natural, more interesting. So you can play around with those settings. Now, let me share one cool thing also that I did, which were the transitions. So I still need to change or like create these same transitions as generators because I found out that, let me show you right here. Where is this? Right here. If we press play, you can use these as a transition like that. And it looks pretty cool. You can actually increase the speed and so on but this is just the actual gif that i exported from my tablet to of the frame by frame animations now if we were to drop these as a normal transition which i did not add because i still need to create the generators for these but what i did was i added two transitions that are paint on transitions basically we press if you if you like go over you can see the transition what it looks like so if i press if i add these right here we have the transition that is sort of like a paint on effect. Now, this could work as well as for generators, as I mentioned. So that's one other thing that I want to add for the actual toolkit when I release it. These are the things that you can change. And these transitions have this shadow offset that I added to them. If you don't want any, you just decrease or like uh, set these up to 0.5 and then decrease the softness. If you want more, you can actually just increase the softness and play around with things right here so in case you wanted i thought it would be an interesting thing to add to them uh so yeah then the, there's this one as well that is like that if you decrease the alpha here and the color it turns into the actual white paint over that i created right but for some reason if you change the color right here uh then it just looks like a sort of like it adds as an overlay basically and it's not probably it's probably there's a way to use this like that Maybe you find a way to use it. But in the meantime, I, I will also turn all of these into gener into generators in case you want to use them like that. So you will have more control over the colors. Those are the elements that the beta of the hand drawn toolkit has. I just wanted to make a quick video sharing those and I will put the link where you can download these and also let me know your thoughts. So by replying to that email and stuff so that I can actually turn this into something even better. In the meantime, I will continue to put together the rest of the elements that I have to adapt to DaVinci basically. And there's also the paper full of eggs that I, I could probably add a few things already into it, but I just wanted to add a few more things to it. So I still have to decide whether I'm gonna just update the 2.5 version and add a few elements rather than like 10 extra that I wanted to create. So hopefully you enjoy using these and let me know your ideas in the comments and also by replying to that email that I will send after you download the beta of the hand-drawn toolkit that I'm building. That is it. See you in the next one. Bye.